This is Dorothy with Dodd Scrapbooking, and this is the card that I'm going to show you today. So it's two challenges. It's the Atlantic Card Sketch Challenge and the Color Dare Color Challenge. So pretty easy card for sure. So here we go. Okay, so I'm making an A2 card, four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut a piece of black cardstock at that size to totally cover the background of the card. And I cut five pieces at, um, let me think, at three quarters of an inch by five and an eighth, maybe. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the black background onto the card front. And I'm just trying to line it up to cover everything. But you know, sometimes it's not perfect. And so um, if there's a little bit of an edge showing, you can either cut it off with your paper trimmer or you can just, with the fact that I've got black here, I can just take my intense black and kind of go over it. I kind of went a little bit overboard there, but kind of hides all the little white sticking out. So there we go. So I'm going to put my colors down and all the colors are going to be the darker color facing up. So there's about a quarter of an inch show all around um, on the sides and at the top. It's about a quarter of an inch. So the periwinkle is going down and then the peach. Next is going to be the papaya. And then I'm going to put the honey butter, which sounds really good on a biscuit right about now. And Seabrook. I do love this color, Seabrook. So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to tell you now, I didn't look up to see which flowers these uh, came from, but those were thin cuts. <coughs> Excuse me. So sometimes I go crazy and make a whole bunch of thin cuts. If I'm making thin cuts, I always figure I might as well go ahead and make some more just to have them handy. And so that's what these were. And they had already been stamped in intense black, so I'm set to go. And I went ahead and cut um, the rectangle bracket that, um, the stitched re rectangle. And I'm using sentiments from one of the uh, card subscription stamps. So they just have so many good things to use on them that it's really good to have them handy. So I went ahead and I decided I was going to color the little flowers in the same colors. I wanted the things to match. So I pulled in the papaya, peach, honey butter, and seabrook. And um, if you just press the top stamp onto the stamp pad, get a little bit of color onto the uh, the top. And so I'm using a water brush here and just pulling some of the color off and painting painting my flower with the papaya. And I'm just pulling it out a little bit. So the peach, I have to tell you, so that's me pressing. It like doesn't hardly even show. So the, the uh, peach is so, so, so light that uh, it's hard to see that I've got any kind of ink on there at all. So I'm just going to give another hard press. I've got a little bit more ink on there. And so I put the darker towards the center and the lighter is going on the edges of the petals. So I wish it was just a touch darker, but you know, you got to go with what the color is. So, and it's actually, as it dries, it's kind of showing up a little bit more. So I use the darker papaya in the center to kind of add some depth to it. So now I'm going to do the honey butter. I'm a little worried about it being too light also, but look at all that color. And so I'm filling in the blank. Well, <laughs> I mean the center, it's not the blank, silly girl. 
So I'm going to go, because the color is so good, there's so much there, I'm just going to go ahead and use it and make yellow flowers instead of peach or papaya color flowers. And look at how nice that yellow, the uh, honey butter, is showing up. It really came out good. Uh, surprised. It's so, now that I'm worried about this one too, because the Seabrook is super light. But a lot of color appeared on the top, and it's actually showing up. So I'm real happy with with that because it looks just super, super pale. But there's my green leaves. Perfect. So that is a super easy way of making sure that your colors match your cardstock is just using your water brush and your um, ink pads. So I am going to arrange these and just kind of figure out what to do. I kind of decided I sort of want the the edge to show up a little bit more. So I'm just going to edge the um, rectangle, the stitched rectangle in the black, just to kind of make it stand up against the colors. Should have let that dry a little bit. So, and arranging. But I think I decided I'm just going to go ahead and put the sentiment down flat. And then I'll pop the flowers up. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I found another butterfly. And I like this butterfly. He would be real pretty as a yellow butterfly, but he's kind of, big. He's kind of big. See how I got the black on there? Kind of smeared a little bit. But, you know, it's the magic of scrapbooking and card making, you can just cover up your your boo-boo. Yeah, he's really too big, which I hate because I really like him. Except then, over to the side there, I forgot about these things. These are, it's the Little Things die cuts. Um, I doubt that they're available because they were absolutely wonderful. They've been sitting over there I guess waiting for me to do something with them. And they have these cutouts, these die cuts, in a real stiff black um, sort of cardstock. It feels a little bit sturdier than cardstock even. But I just, I love how you can see the color through them. And I love how delicate they are. And so I have to use these. I just have to. So I'm going to pop up what looks to me to be a hibiscus. Doesn't it look like a hibiscus? It looks like a hibiscus to me. And, you know, the one butterfly was a little big, so I like this smaller butterfly. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to put that flower down, and then the yellow flowers are going to go kind of underneath just trying to figure out where it looks best. It just kind of, you just kind of have to, sometimes you just have to move things around, you know, until it kind of strikes your fancy. Don't you love that butterfly? Oh my goodness. You know, that really makes me want to go and see if there's any more of those left to get some more of them. And I love the, the little daisy. Yeah. You know, really, move move things around. Don't be afraid. Try them out in different ways. And see what just kind of says, okay, that's the right thing to do. It kind of tells you, I think. <laughs> I think it does. You know, you can do it until until, you know, it suits your fancy. So now I'm looking at this card and I'm thinking, you know, I could have edged all those strips in black and that would have been kind of interesting, but I don't know. I think maybe like in the, the continuous, just color going into color without the interruption is okay too. So there's my butterfly and there's, you know, my flower cluster. And I just really like having the black added to, to the uh, flowers, the die cut flowers or thin cut flowers. I was going to put a little glitter 
fold on there. But I didn't really, just didn't hit me. Didn't hit me right. So I'll put that back. But it sort of needs something. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put my brush away. Those, the watercolor brushes are, they, they're really good to have handy to use um, just like this for painting. So you can use this for watercolor painting. You can use your markers for kind of a watercolor painting. You can use your watercolor pencils to do watercolor painting. So there's all sorts of ways of painting. Um, and they all have kind of a different look to them. So um, I just kind of go from one to another. So I said, it's time to celebrate. It's your day. It's time to celebrate. So it's whether it's your birthday or maybe an anniversary or something, whatever it is. So there's my card. Pretty simple. Pretty darn simple. And I love my... my uh, scrapbook subscription cards. It's not scrapbook, it's card making subscription, silly girl. So there we go. And then, so I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, okay, I'm finished. And, uh, but you know, it just needs a little something. And so I kind of sign off and then I thought, no, wait a minute. Look, I just looked up and sitting right there in front of me is my gold thread. And so I decided that that it's such a fine thread that it just adds just a little hint. And I can't find my scissors, so I've got to go over behind me and use my husband's scissors. He also uses the room as a video, and, and he makes hats and, and T-shirts using one of my old crickets. So i um, got my thread cut. I've got to put a pair of scissors in here probably packed them up and when I went on a retreat. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this under here and I'm going to put some more Tombow down and just kind of pack it under there and then just kind of spread out the loops. And it's just a little bit of glitz. So there you go. There's my card. There's my little thread. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.